Firstly, welcome to Palace House Mews on another beautiful afternoon for the second of our series of lectures supported by the Gerald Lee Charitable Trust. We have a formidable list of speakers, um, and a little later they'll be introduced by our chairman for the afternoon, Celia Ma, who's the senior specialist in medicine at uh, the Rossdale's Hospital, and of course known to everyone as the editor of EVJ. The lectures are organized today by Beaufort Cottage Educational Trust, and I'm particularly grateful to Jenny Ricketts for taking on the burden of the administration for today. She's done a sterling job with all the communications, the emails, and chasing up everyone. It's been brilliant. But the day has been made possible by the sponsorship of the Gerald Lee Charitable Trust. This is the second of a pro proposed 10 annual lectures, and we welcome Anna Lee here today, Gerald's wife, who, with Robin, uh, Lee are the trustees of the trust. And we also thank Sarah Whitney, the trust secretary, for all her help with the coordination of the lectures. She cannot be with us today, unfortunately, because she's had a horrible back problem from which we wish her a speedy recovery. The series of lectures are to honour the memory of Gerald Lee, who died in 2002, and his daughter Sarah, who tragically died in 2015. Each year we choose a topic, invite a group of speakers and an appropriate audience of vets, researchers and industry representatives to disseminate knowledge and to stimulate links and friendship in a social atmosphere that we can rarely manage in our busy daily lives. Gerald was a great communicator. He loved talking to people. He would be thrilled that we have this range of people here. A few words about Gerald himself. He was a hugely successful private thoroughbred breeder, but his stud book, amazingly, never exceeded 20 mares. Well-bred, carefully managed, selected and mated with the help of Alex Scroop. From Caton Park in Berkshire, purchased in the 60s, he moved to Eden Hall in Northamptonshire in 1982, where the stud enterprise took a firm hold on his life, not perhaps so much of Anna's, who slightly preferred some of the London activities, but she, she had, and we met there many, many times, and Gerald was a huge thoroughbred breeding enthusiast. At the time of his death, his three equal families all had a Group 1 winner in the first generation, an extraordinary achievement. He surrounded himself with competent people, especially his stud groom manager, Terry Campbell, who's here today. He sought advice and listened carefully, but significantly made his own decisions and stood by them. I suspect following his highly successful business career in property, he also had the instinct to sell at the right time. Most notably, I remember when Corvea topped the Keeneland November sales after producing Bosra Sham. I believe she was in Fulton Jensky. She made somewhere in the order of $7 million, and she never bred another black type winner. That was the sort of instinct that he had. Gerald was always willing to innovate and learn. He supported nutritional research when it mattered, particularly with Deborah Lucas of Dodds and Horrell in the early Eden years, looking at mineral and protein levels in pasture through the year, work which in part and considerable part led to the introduction of shore grow and the idea of a small volume, uh, highly dense feed by that company. From this base, many brilliant horses followed, including the classic winners, Barathea, Irish 2000 Guineas and Breeders' Cup, Bosra Sham, 1000 Guineas, Gossamer, Irish 1000 Guineas, and many others, including Mark of Distinction, Infamy, and Actor One spring to mind. These horses were trained by Luca Kumani, also here today, very pleased to see. 
in England, Jonathan Pease, John Hammond in France, and Christophe Clement in the USA. These lectures commemorate this remarkable, generous, and able man and his daughter, Sarah. Please enjoy the lectures, the National Heritage Center later in the afternoon, and the dinner tonight if you are booked up for it. I'm sure Gerald would improve, approve of the day. Enjoy the afternoon. Thank you.